back to Let's Play Star Sector, New Headset Edition, with me, Hunter Black Luna, and we are about to attack the EOS system. The only question being, where exactly do we, like, enter the system? Actually, the first question being, do you feel lucky, punk? Food shortage investigation on crew are guilty. Cindy and Dick Tad are not happy, but we're still friends, guys. Sorry. Anyhow, they are literally praying for their lives, but they're not going to get that. What they're going to get is something different. Now, they do have two wolves, which means they are exceptionally fucking fast. And since their escorts don't actually care about the lives of their charges, I'll put it this way, I'm sure we can get the uh, freighters, which is the main thing. We're going to pursue... Transfer command once again to the pet codal. I'm just gonna keep calling it that. It's probably not the way you're supposed to call it, but I don't care. I'm gonna send in everything except the torpedo bombers, I think. Seems reasonable to me. And the Gemini again, just for just to keep a light on our combat readiness. And I'm gonna order my ships to intercept these bastards rather than letting them get away. And take the nav buoy. Enough ships will be assigned to match enemy ships in the vicinity, which sounds good to me. Uh, we're gonna go right after the wolves, too. We are probably not fast enough to catch them. That'll be okay, though. If the enemy turns around and fights, well, I'll, I'll laugh. Alright, shields up. They have drones of some kind. The wolves are gonna run away, and they may get away. Which would be unfortunate. I have no friggin' assets to chase them. If they get away... Mm. Uh, the battle area is bigger, because we selected it to be bigger, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, fuck it. Whoa! Whoa, fuck those mining drones. I think the Shepherd can actually outrun us in this situation, unfortunately. Unless they're slowed down. Or they turn. That's a good one, too. Heart, rip and tear, rip and tear. There we go, now the drones won't bother us. We can get the buffaloes at least. I'll fire my suppose just that give them to the There we go. Work everyone. I doubt we're getting the wolves. Oh maybe. They've been engaged. We do have the nav buoy, which means we move pretty damn fast, yeah. Where are you bastards? Pin him the fuck down. Blast him, blast him away. Oh yes, my friend. Oh yes. Come on. Wolves are fragile. I know that much. We just gotta watch ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna remove that. Let's vent our, real quick, our flux. Where are you bastards? And... There we go. That's one. Whoa! <laughs> we hit the wreckage. That's pretty hardcore. Now the other one. I have no clue if we're going to catch up to that bastard in time. I'm going to set this to autopilot. And go ahead and watch it from another perspective. Go! Yeah, that guy's probably toast anyhow, whether we catch up or not. Nice work, everybody, though. That little force got pwned. We took some casualties, but we can replenish. I won't be able to defend against all them rockets. Could be from there, please? Yeah, there we go. Those are fragile. That's their weak point. 
just swarm them with shit. We lost four people, that's unfortunate. But we got stuff from them. Not a lot of fuel. A lot of food. That will be valuable, I think. And we're we came out ahead in terms of supplies, maybe sort of. Whatever. Let's grab that. Uh, we are gonna split the difference. It came out because the thing is, we could come out in Paladin's Bridge, which is the suicidal option. I don't remember what they have, but I don't know. I don't know if they'll fight us. No, they're gonna run from us. I don't feel like dealing with them. They're not a trade fleet. We are gonna order the jump to the gas giant. Let's see what we find there, everyone. Oh, hey, a bounty. I actually do want that. Nice. I mean, if we're here anyhow. I don't even remember there some being something about a bounty. But we can grab it. Also, our fleet's getting trained up really damn fast. It's very nice. Pursuit course. They have a destroyer and five frigates. Three frigates and two gun boats. I think that's the same. What's the speed on that destroyer? 99. 81. 105. The Falcon can catch them. Uh, we're probably going to assume Command of the Dauntless. And send in the Mar the Marta Waxer. That's what I'm going to call that. Send in these two to harry them in the back and make sure they don't turn around and try to fight. Because they're unmatched. And then send the fighters to swarm them from the sides again. You know, standard stuff. We'll send in... I'm thinking the Heron on this one to keep pace with the enemy. And harass them. So I'm going to transfer command to the Light Cruiser Dauntless. Finally, a heroic name. We will assume direct control. Definitely deploying the torpedo bombers on this one. We'll do them left and right. That's fine. That's fine. Play left. Play right. Alright, that looks okay. Aaron in the back. If you know what I mean. We're keeping some of our ships out of the fight. It's a pretty heavy response, though. I'm betting the bounty is significant. Immediate concerns. The lashers are probably the quickest assets. Want some strike missions put on them. The torpedo bomber should probably go straight for the destroyer, I'm thinking. And it won't be able to get away, that's for sure. That's a sensor relay. Nav buoy could probably be gotten pretty easily. Alright. Plan of action? Let's go. If they stop to fight the cruiser, they're not very smart. Oh, they're not very smart, everyone. Since they actually turn to fight, I am going to put in the Egestes as well. We'll deploy from the back. Just for a bit of backup. They might think they can overwhelm us. Maybe. Might be smart to get the carrier to rally round here. Just so it kind of stays out of the way. They might try to swamp it. Alright, target. <clears throat> Let's see. This thing has maneuvering jets, as I recall. Let's back off. I think we could get this. Yeah. Oh, my friends. Go, 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 missiles. Yeah. He's in trouble. Got him. Nice work. Nice work, everyone. <laughs> the rest of them are running. As you may expect. Dedicated strike missions on all of them, please. Uh, kill him. Maneuvering jets. Yeah. Close range, he might be able to beat us in a heat battle. Probably not. He's probably really dead. Huh? I'm a cruiser. You know what? I'm just gonna let this battle play out. 
I'll go autopilot and we'll go to a random fighter group at the front. Looks like some of our guys took casualties trying to tangle with these uh, frigates. That's unfortunate. We did deploy a pretty heavy response, but the bounty will probably justify it. That boy will help. Those Gladius fighters should probably break off while they can. That guy is occupying a ridiculous amount of our ships. He should probably be trying to get them. These guys should probably be doing something else with their time. You can keep fighting him. There we go. Yeah, he's he's probably pretty dead as well. There we go. Some of them will get away, which is annoying. Let's see. Nothing down here, really. No need for that waypoint anymore. The carrier can probably just help pursue. Everybody else, just keep at him and see what we can do with... This guy's not moving anymore. Yeah, he's pretty much done. There we go. This guy might turn around and fight, here's hoping. The thunders are buying us good time. Oh, those iron cannons are so lovely, disabled. Which gives the rest of the fleet time to chase the bastard. Uh, looks like he's getting away. If he retreats, we could probably chase him down again. Yeah. So that's one that got away. The rest got pwned. No actual fighter casualties, that's interesting. I thought you took a casualty every single time you got into a fight. Not bad. Some more cargo to take. Bam! Alright, they don't want to pay the bounty. No bounty payment? Yep. Well, you know. I would have done it for free. What is Goebbels' armada? I hear Goebbels was a Nazi. I know it's not spelled that way. Okay, so we came out pretty close to their capital. Actually, that's not bad. I don't think anything they have could take us in a straight-up fight. But we can just start finding trade fleets and killing them. Else put out the bounty. Offered by the Ludic Church. Now there's still one. Yeah, from the Ludic Church. Dang it. Oh, that's a good. That's a good bounty payment, too. Oh, well. The like Ludic Church trade fleet. That sounds like my style. Sounds like the kind of kind of thing I'd want to meet. We're replenishing combat readiness. We should be, you know, prepared. All right, they don't have anything in the way of significant escort. There we go. Now they're going to be in trouble. They're going to be running, of course, which means their escorts are just going to run away. I'm inclined to let a lot of their escorts just run away. Ah, uh, what's the speed on the eagle? Wait a second. Guesties. As if it needed to be more complicated. 81 plus the maneuvering jet, so a little over 81. These freighters cannot possibly get away. But we don't need to destroy to kill them. I think I should probably take the cruiser just to convince them to keep running. The hammerhead can get away. The enforcer can't though. I think I'm going to transfer command to the... The Dauntless is actually pretty fast as far as, you know, that... I think I'm going to transfer command to the... The this. Take command. We're going to play this. And this in the rear to keep them running. If they're smart, they won't turn to engage. Dagger torpedo bombers in the back. 
and strike craft on the sides. That seems to be pretty effective at, you know, getting into them and slowing them down and whatnot. The Heron is still resupplying. I don't know, for pursuits they're just better. Whatever, we'll take the Venture class. Yeah, I think. It'll cost us less combat readiness and points. This is a pretty decently sized enemy fleet, though. I think we'll deploy another Hammerhead just for some extra, you know, punch. Our cruisers are ready to come in, but they may not be needed. I am going to order dedicated strike on the escorts that are likely to be running away. Those guys especially. I mean, I'd like to just murder all of them if I can. I will handle the back ranks. Torpedo bombers probably need to focus. You know, and I'll have the torpedo bombers start focusing down the enemies. Cruiser will focus down the destroyer if needed. Alright, this looks like a plan to me. And we'll target the destroyer. In case he tries to turn around and fight. Might not do it. If your force is overwhelming, they'll, they'll just fucking turn and keep. Yeah, they're, keep, they're running. Sensor. Ah, the nav buoy too. You can grab that pretty easily. So I'm gonna order it. Oh damn it, I left clicked at the wrong moment. He turned to engage us. Brave bastard. He turned off my shields at the wrong moment due to a random twitch right click. There we go. Wait a second, my shields went back off. Did I overload or something? I don't know what happened. There, I was staying behind to capture the sensor post. That's what I was doing. Let's go. What's the layout of the battle? Yeah, we're probably not getting everybody. Those wolves are pro that wolf is probably getting away. You know what? What the hell? If they want to get away, fucking let the bastards focus on the ones further back. And extra, make sure the freighters don't get away, because that's the whole point of this battle. I would be really sad if they did. I don't really think they are gonna. There we go. Learned up who's boss. Good and proper. This vigilant isn't gonna last long. It'll last longer than we really got that dense on. Oh shit, turn, cruiser. Their destroyer's coming back around. Alright, power up. Build the torpedo ship. Pour it on. There we go, got him. These 360 shields can come in a lot of handy. Come in a lot of handy. That is not a great... Whatever. Kill him. Engage. I think we got all the cargo ships, though, so that's nice. Ow. Nice. Torpedo hit on the back quarter. Can't be feeling good after that. Oh, his engines are down, so he's really not feeling good. Hammerheads are an awesome design, I say as I murder one. There we go. Ten crew. That's unfortunate. They got away with essentially nothing. Yeah, their escorts are welcome to run away. I'll take a shepherd for two. Someone advised me that I should get rid of the shuttles. I understand the point of view. I do not agree, though. I find they still have their use. Alright, we'll double it, plus one, plus our double effectiveness with... There we go. Prize crew. We always lose one, though. I think if I sent, like, 20 people, we'd still lose one. Plus, we'd be at risk to lose, like, 20 marines, which is a lot of money. Just down the drain. Organics. They're probably more valuable than some of the shit we're hauling. Maybe. The supplies are definitely what I'd consider valuable. The weaponry is pretty valuable per, like, unit of space they take up. And I guess we'll take as much organics as we can. 
organics and synthetics and don't have to destroy each other. The battle for Rannoch disproves your assertion. <laughs> no, I'm still not over Mass Effect 3. Never will be. Although I hear Inquisition is going in the right direction. Someone in Bioware kind of realized that they should turn around their wicked ways. 2127, 2127. It looks like we're. Yep. Alright. Ships are providing the most cargo capacity. The Venture turned out to be a good investment just from a cargo standpoint without anything else. Not bad. The Shepherd is providing an extra cargo capacity. We're probably not going to keep the. You know what? We'll keep the Shepherd around just for the cargo. Maybe. I don't know. If needed, be, we will dump more of the organics. Dun, dun, dun. Yay! We're almost to making do, which will be fantastic. Logistics capacity is also fantastic because it lets me have more ships. That's just nice. And as for this, I suppose this is. No, wait, I was going for something else. Ordnance points. Probably won't use it until we refit, but whatever. We have the crew to maintain the Shepherd. I'm going to order a suspension of repairs and recovery. It's an old piece of fucking shit. Four burn. The slowest my fleet can ever be is like six, or like five or six. Like under any circumstances, five or six is the is the ceiling, or the floor rather, the speed floor. Wow, they used up a lot in that boarding operation, more than we used for the actual you know pitched battle. Whatever, that's cool. Still doing okay on supplies. Always my big worry. We didn't bring enough cargo capacity, but there isn't a lot we could have done about that. With the extra logistics capacity, I could hire on another freighter or something. That's really our concern at this point, because we're doing pretty well overall. They don't have a lot here, do they? Patrol, patrol... what is that? I don't think it's going to tell me. And obviously we can't do business with, you know, athletic church areas. So I think we're gonna chart a course for Hesperus. See if we can catch another trade fleet or two. They're, those escorts are welcome to run away. They are not why I'm here. Uh huh. And the bounty was issued from someone else, so we got a nice fat payment. Very nice. Trade disrupted for the enemy. LOL. Piracy or war? I consider myself in a one-man war, well, actually a 1,000-man war, against the Letic Church, under which my actions are perfectly legal as commerce raiding. And uh, if anyone wants to dispute my legal interpretation, uh, they are welcome to meet my heavy cruisers. Loading. Loading means we know we can take this. In fact, I think there's a standard fleet configuration for these guys. Nothing they have here is willing to challenge us. Smart people. And I think we'll knock these guys out and then probably just head home, maybe. I think we've proven our point. We've also proven this is pretty profitable. A lot of the cargo will go to waste if we do claim this as a victory, but... That'll be okay. I will assume command of this action. I will transfer engagements. We want to be fast again. The hammerhead seems to be working out pretty well in terms of going fast. I'll take the one with the less experienced crew. I still hope that crew experience actually factors into that. Alright, we just want fast ships. You guys know the deal. I'm pretty sure we just fought this fight. Pulling the fighters on the side seems to work, at least in terms of keeping the enemy, you know, busy. They can bog down some of the other enemy ships and keep them from getting away. Very nice. Uh, I think 
we're going with the Heron on this one. The only my only problem with the Heron is the Heron tends to get way too fucking close to the enemy because they're fast enough to get right in their face, which can be a problem. Alright, we'll deploy the light cruiser and hope that keeps them running. I think it will be. Wow, this fight looks similar. Except we don't have the nav buoy. That's unfortunate. Let's try to intercept all these bastards. Because the frigates are going to be the ones running away. And I mean, we don't have to intercept them, but it's nice. Torpedo bombers will focus on that hammerhead. I will get the destroyer as my personal target. And, uh, the cruiser can light him up too. I'm not too concerned with what everyone else does. I think we'll be good like this. So see, issuing some minor orders doesn't fuck up the AI, but gotta watch that. Well, I mean, if you're just gonna give me this one game, I will take it. It's not even difficult. Look, I just do this. I win. Oh, yeah, betcha. I bet you I'll take that. I mean, that is why we're here. Some of them may get away in the confusion. I'm gonna preemptively assign an engage objective to these guys so they don't get away, just in case. Uh-oh. Shields up! Yeah, my shields cover the whole thing, asshole. I love these triple guns. Dun, 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 dun. They're like naval guns. You know what, as long as we kill the freighters, if the other ones... I mean, these escorts are shamefully... they're not even, like, turning to engage. You know, Heron, you can really stand to get out of my grill. Whoa. Fucking salamanders. Always with the salamanders. I think we're doing okay against these guys, though. Wow, the AI doesn't know how to deal with salamanders. Now, to be fair, I don't either, but... Oh, so the bastards. Rip them apart. Uh, I think I hit my cruiser there. See, the Heron... I'm not sure what he hopes to accomplish here. Oh, I really don't want those to get away. God damn it. I mean, like, it matters. It doesn't really matter. Took him down clean. Oh, hey, it looks like we got the... Okay, now him. Can't get back more command points, unfortunately. So fuck it. Search and destroy any targets. Any targets of opportunity, just kill them. See if we can cross here. Our hammerhead brother. I really need him to die. The frigates dying would be nice, but they're kind of on a low priority. I'll say that as I turn to engage the frigate. I mean, this won't take long, okay? Attack laser. Okay. There we go. Got him. Very nice work, everyone. I was worried our force mix wouldn't have quite the oomph to take on. Thunders get killed a lot, but I still find them very valuable. I actually did better that time. That's fascinating. Ooh, a Tarsus. That's actually really what I want. I will take that and, like, repair it. Please give me it. I'll use the other shuttle. Just because I can. I want that so much, I'm going to send in more than my traditional. And they explode, lol. No. Ah. I would have actually really liked to have that. More supplies... I guess guns will bring us the best return on, you know, hauling. 
compared to just commodities. Although we can take most of what's here. Does that planking sound annoy you? I'm sorry. It kind of annoys me too. Yeah, we're already fully late. Let's get home. Then get some more cargo ships. For a first expedition to Eos in a war capacity. I gotta tell you guys, I'm not unhappy about the results. I'm not unhappy at all. That Shepherd class can just go. He has earned his escape. I don't see any more trade fleets in the immediate area. Let's just head for the rim. I'm hoping maybe piracy will increase if we fuck them up like this so much. Maybe. Mm. We could put the comm sniffer, but eh. They, they'll probably detect it. We are not a stealthy fleet. That is not why we're here. Alright, we still have enough crew for everything, and... If we check out the actual composition of our crew, you'll notice we have trained up some fine fellows. Lots of fine fellows. I'll have some impromptu on-the-job training. Running from your fleet. Oh, yes. Trade fleets. See if we can intercept them in hyperspace. The Sindrian Dictat. Maybe they'll, the Sindrian Dictat will get an advantage. Shortage on a Sharu. You know what we picked up, right, everybody? Quite a lot of food. I think we found our calling. We found a calling to divert. Well, you know what? We're going this direction anyhow. Let's kill the... That's literally beneath my notice. You can live. I grant you reprieve, my friends. We are going to our old stomping grounds of Corvus at our maximum speed, which is not very impressive. Where we can look for new ships, we can help our beloved friends, the Independents, to show how benevolent we are. You know, all that junk. Pirates might have also gone rampant in our absence. Corvus is kinda known for that. Eh, pirate trade fleet, eh. Running from your fleet, yeah, that's right. We're actually providing, like, protection to the planet while we're here. Ah, nice to see you guys again. Nice to see Jangala. Ninety-eight credits per. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Now, food goes for a lot. But I'm pretty sure we could do better than that. Also, we should check and... You know, that hit with our friends was not bad at all. I bet we could risk it again and get absurd speculator profits again. Looks like domestic goods... are wanted here, too. These are some nice things, but eh... I don't know. I'm sure organics will sell for more than some other... No, they actually... They have a supply of organics. You know what? At this point, I don't mind. No one you. No one you. I like the Arbalists. Heavy Needlers. I've heard... Heavy Needlers are pretty powerful. Forget if I've used them. Swarmer and the Annihilator, I don't know. We can always use long range PD though. I don't care about my machine guns because I can just. Alright, so 25,000 immediately. What's the intel? Remember, Asharu is not a big place. So their food shortage will probably. Well, they need a thousand units. Actually, meeting a food shortage on Asharu was where I made my money in my original playthrough that I transmitted from the Better Universe. I'm actually doing better now in this playthrough. Give me all you got. And we still have lots of cargo capacity. Shall we take a risk and take more from the black market? Does the military have food? Nah, I don't know why the military would have food. but. Watch, there's a food shortage now because we bought up all the food. Watch it. Um, I'm gonna risk it. Hopefully buying off the black market isn't so bad. 
We'll see. We'll see, won't we? And since there's storage here, we can actually put our marines into storage and pay less in terms of just giving them supplies, because we're going to come here to jump out anyhow. i put all this shit in storage, might as well, so that a random customs inspection won't fuck us so bad. We can even put ships into storage. First of all, what can we buy here? I'm not looking for defective tankers, or defective freighters. You know, after the food shortage, I, I thought about just buying a single battleship and going rampant on a system, like, just completely going nuts. I might do that. I'll consider the buffalo. Maybe an enforcer. We can have a dominator. It's the standard big block of blur that you just launch it. No wolves. No wolves. I mean, we've evolved beyond such considerations, but still, no wolves. Our tug is still here. You know what? How much cargo are we getting from these ships? We can leave. I'm gonna sort this out, and we're gonna head to go help our friends. First of all, there are indeed some huge-ass pirate fleets all around here causing trouble. Interestingly, there's a Tritachion fleet over here, which you don't see much in this part of space. Anyhow, we cut down on our fleet a little bit, just so we can get over to Asharu real quick and deliver supplies. They're not doing so well on Tartesis. I wonder what happened. LOL. Okay. They need about a thousand units. Even though there are tens of thousands. I don't know. Ah. Uh, yes. Approximately 40 units of food. I suppose I can be cheesy and buy and then sell. I don't think that'll work. Is there anything here we could even possibly want? A regular Tarsus. You know the buffalo is actually faster. Burn speed is the same, and... Might buy the Tarsus. Stability is low, so there's more of other stuff here. Could buy a Sunder Destroyer, but there's not a reason to risk the further wrath of our friends. I think we will buy the extra Tarsus. What's the logistics needed? This is not bad, it's just two. Yeah. We'll get the Tarsus for the... You know what, they're the same burn rate, which is really all I care about, so we'll get the Buffalo and the Tarsus. For now, we're gonna mothball them, because we don't have enough ships to supply. Yeah. Put them in mothballs till we get home. I consider that a pretty good expedition, everyone. And there's lots to do back home since it's been a little while since we were at Corvus, you know, operating there. So yeah, thanks for your business independence. Hopefully they recognize us favorably for that. We're not six, which is interesting. What is slowing us down? Oh, those two bastards without... We can fix that right now. There we go. Automatically just crash install those engines for extra speed. And when we get to Jangala, that'll be a decent end to the episode, I suppose. Smuggling activity at New Maxios, lol. You know what? I don't care. Because we're a winner. Thanks for watching, everybody.